Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Mighty High's World. This is episode 110, believe it or not, we've got that far already. And last episode, we built this shrine, or shall I say the inside of the shrine, because the exterior was already done. So, if you haven't seen last episode, this is what we've done. In this room, we have a prayer room, and then outside we have, like, another little prayer place or a shrine as we say and then I've made I think there's about two layers to this or technically three including the bottom so this is the first layer as we you can see we've got our shrines here so if we go up the stairs we have another room here which I really didn't know what to do one because of how I've done the floor but there wasn't really much room here so I basically just made it into like a cooking area or kitchen so we've got like loads of smokers around and then I just decided to add a load of uh, jack-o'-lanterns because I thought why not uh, as it's supposed to be a Halloween build and then if we go up one more stair set of stairs even we have this room which is pretty much a living room and bedroom as we can see we've got a big long bed there with some banners around the outside then some little chair and table there the old school design obviously and then I've decided to put some barrels and some jack-o'-lanterns in here and some paintings. So it, there's not really much in here but it all fits together quite well. And we've also got quite a tall roof which we could possibly add something to still. But I think it might be a good idea just to leave it as it is for now. So this, not, this is not all that we did last episode. We also worked on the outside a tiny bit as well. So if we just comb down here. We already have our pumpkin patch here, which uh, we've done a couple of episodes ago now. Oh, I almost trampled that. Um, so this is looking all good. And we also managed to make a little garden as well. So this is the garden we made last episode, which is looking pretty cool. So we've got some bone blocks. So imagine there's like bones sticking out of the ground. And then I've just added a load of other little bits and stuff to make it look cool and we've also got a little water fountain so today's episode is going to be an interesting one i am still going to be working here but i've also got something else to show you later on in the episode so today's episode i want to be working probably around here on the actual cliff so if we just fly around here let's jump on this tree so I haven't really done anything around these cliffs uh, so the plan is to try and make them a bit decent and probably put like loads of leaves and stuff around them. I've also got a load of cobwebs in my inventory as well along with some quartz so we could use them as well but another thing I would like to do in today's episode is if we just land here again quickly this is quite a flat area on this cliff so what would be a cool idea is if we have like a biggish skull on the cliff edge so we could possibly have like a skull and then a uh, nether portal behind it so we could have somewhere we can fly in and then what we can do is we can have a bit of redstone which connects this skull here into the house maybe so maybe some kind of secret entrance or something like that I think that'll be a cool idea so this is what we're going to be doing today's episode um, and I think I've got everything ready I'm not entirely sure if I need any more bone blocks or quartz I probably do because that stuff runs out really quite fast to be fair so I'll see um, if I've got enough for now but I've definitely got enough to get on with what we need to do and I've also got a pretty interesting design for it as well so I think the only thing we can do now is grab some blocks and get building. Alright, so I think I've got everything I need now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to build the skull on this wall here. Because it's the flattest around this kind of like mountain. So if we just have a little look around the mountain, you can see that there's not much flatness around here apart from the other side I mean we could do it on there but that looks a tiny bit smaller to me uh, and then on this side it's quite jagged as well so I think this is the side we're going to be working on if we just get up here quickly we've got a few mobs to deal with as well namely that creeper which I 
don't really want him exploding so if we can get him down that will be great goodbye sir oh he's dead oh he's dead he dead so yeah i'm going to probably leave these bits sticking out the side to be fair because they're not really going to be m too much of a problem but we're basically going to be at yeah but we're basically going to be at yeah that was great wasn't it but we're basically going to be building it here so i think the first thing we can do is if we get up there again probably dig some room out in the actual cliff so we can build a nether portal first and then we can go from there so yeah i think let's make some room here and then i'll show you guys what we've been up to all right so i've carved an area out where we're actually going to be building this skull and that is right there so i think it's about 11 by 16 so 11 across and 16 blocks up um and as you can see it doesn't look that big compared to the actual mountain we're building off um but it's still big enough to uh, for you guys to actually get a good idea of what we're going to be doing so obviously as I've said before we're going to be building a skull here but we're also going to be putting another portal in front of it as well so let's get up here quickly and this is only a two block gap for now although it will be wider and I'll probably make some kind of cave in here at some point but I think this is going to be the section where we're going to have a nether portal and we're basically going to be building this big nether portal so that the whatever's behind the skull will turn purple um i'm sure you guys have probably seen this before in other builds but i quite like this anyway and also it means that we can uh, fly in and out of this portal as well and we can also connect it up to our nether hub as well eventually uh so yeah that's one idea i'm not going to finish it yet because it's probably a good idea to build the skull first before we light the portal and everything so i think that's what i'm going to be doing now basically i'm just going to get on with building this skull and come back to you when it's done i'm not going to do a time lapse today um simply because of time reasons but i'm hoping you guys will like this design it's a design of my own uh, so you guys can be the judge of that basically um, I think it's okay but it could do with a bit more work but let's get on with it and I'll show you guys what we've done all right so I think I've got this skull pretty much done now uh, so I'm actually in it now so let's have a fly by and see what you guys think because I'm pretty happy about this for my first ever skull that I've done freehand so this is what it's looking like and I'm pretty happy about this uh, so you can see that we've got the uh, head there and then we've got like the jawline there it does look a bit janky because I do still need to like make the cliff around it so to do that I think I'm just going to use some stone uh, I've got a load of stone on me so maybe if we come out one block possibly oh, I can't even do that with, at this angle can I let's try here instead if we just like cover it up like that maybe i think that will look pretty cool uh, so i've done one half let's see what that's like and if it doesn't work then we can do something else and yeah i think that will look all right actually although it does look t a bit too square for my liking so we might need a way of kind of like making it actually into the cliff instead of just like that um hmm i'm not entirely sure and the sun setting again so yeah let's get on one of these trees and see what we can think of there we go uh so we've got the skull i'm pretty happy about that around the outside i'm not entirely sure if we use concrete concrete stone or possibly black concrete I'll have a little think and see what I can come up with and I'll uh, show you guys in a minute. Alright, so I think I've pretty much got this sorted out now. So if we just fly down here and take a land on one of these trees and look up. So this is the final design basically. So what I've done is I've made the cliff edge flat into the skull. So I basically just had to go in one block from them bone blocks as you can see and then I've connected the this skull up to the actual jaw so 
I've just added a few blocks there to make it look like it's connected a bit more and I'm pretty happy about this to be fair. Um, it does look a bit derpy, I'm not going to lie, it does look a bit odd, but I'm going to go with it because that's just what I do. So the only thing we need to do now is if we can get up in here and all we need to do is light this portal. So three, two, and done. And then we can have a little look at it like this. So, yeah, that's looking pretty cool now. That looks quite eerie. And hopefully there won't be many mobs spawning on this now because it's kind of lit up. Because uh, that's a problem as well. Uh, I think I need to go around with some torches around here and light some places up because the amount of mobs that are spawning is ridiculous. Especially down here as well. Normally at night, but no, there's a few down here still. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's more than a few there. <laughs> I wonder if one of them creepers are going to blow up. Hmm. Shall I? Oh, there's even a witch there. What? Hello. <laughs> it's seen me run away. Oh, that's funny. It must have hit itself with its own poison potion. <laughs> but yeah, uh, anyway, getting a bit distracted from... Uh, flying around here let's go over to this side again where is it now uh, this side so yeah we've got a pretty cool looking skull in here now and it's linking to a nether portal I wonder where this goes actually let's have a look shall we and we link up here what that's strange what? Okay. What well, if we go back then? This is just going to take me to my base, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, we need to uh, do some maths with that one because that's just taking me all the way here. So let's get back to it and... Uh, actually, uh, yeah, let's get back to it and uh, see what we can do about the nether portal. All oh, right, so I've made it back here at last and the sun has already set as it's night But hopefully that shouldn't be a problem because I'm going to go back in the nether in a minute So what I plan to do is basically connect this nether portal to my I would say nether hub, but it's more of just nether tunnels at the moment until I actually come up with a good idea for a nether hub So how I do this basically is if I get the F3 screen up uh, we want to look at our X and Z coordinate. So our X coordinate is 796 and our Z is 324. And we basically divide them to uh, numbers by 8. So you do 796 divided by 8 and then 324 divided by 8. And that will give you the coordinates you need to get to in the never. So because this is relatively close in the never to my actual portal, um, home portal here because I haven't really done this either but um, what we need to do is I've already got the numbers so we need to find so we need to find a hundred on the x-axis and 40 on the Z so if we go over to what way is it this way a hundred is this way basically so if we just keep walking this way that will give us 100 and then this way will give us 40 so we're close to my uh, kind of like ice road at the moment so we're pretty much at 40 if we just uh, might have to dig this way a bit so that's pretty much 40 here and then 100 is basically just over here somewhere isn't it yeah another 50 blocks over here so let's find, get to them coordinates and I'll catch you guys in a minute alright so here we are in the nether we are at exactly 100 on the x and 40 on the y so this is where we can build our nether portal but just before i do that i might just mention i probably could have just used this as a way of getting in there because this leads all the way to the swamp and the witch hut which is just all the way down there basically so i could add a uh like entrance here maybe but that would be a bit annoying at the moment so i think i'll just leave it like this and create another separate ice road because it's really not that long to be fair with you um, so yeah so now we just need to build our portal and hope it connects us 
So, moment of truth. There's no reason why it shouldn't, and it does. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have successfully linked the Snever portal to the other one. But what happens when we go back, though? That is the question. Hopefully, we go back at the same point. And we do. Yes! We've done it! We've done it! We've done it! And no problem coming back this way as well. So, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. So, I think I'm going to leave this skull as it is. Look at that big nose. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave this project now for a minute and show you guys something else. So, here we are back at the swamp. And if you wanted proof of that, you just need to look at them trees to see it's the swamp. And this is what I've been up to. So, I've actually managed to clear out most of all of the uh, stone around here. So, if you remember last time, there was a still a massive pillar of stone going right down the middle. I've managed to clear that. And also, there was kind of like glitchy, odd, annoying blocks around here, which I've managed to clear most of it as well. So, I think this is pretty much ready to build the witch farm now I, as you can see there's still loads of floating blocks around here because uh, minecraft likes to give you floating blocks so what i've been doing is going around with a slow falling potion and getting rid of them with my pickaxe so that's taking a bit of time so now and again i'll probably just come here and if i've got any potions here i don't think i do actually no i've used them all up so yeah so now and again i'll just come here and uh try and get rid of more of these blocks but I think the witch farm is the next thing to do here so that will probably have to wait until next episode unfortunately because I am out of time so thank you very much for watching my name is Mighty High if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads I've been Mighty High and thank you very much for watching goodbye